every week I do these editorial articles where I analyze current events and, well, I kind of report on them in a little radio style. And then I, I mean, I do analysis. It's, it's, it's weekly news and analysis. And they come out Monday, you know, while everything else is hitting the presses. You know, my news comes out first because I've developed it. I'm in Asia where, you know, which is the future, right? And, well, no, George, our time zone's ahead. I, I'm, I'm going to bed. America's getting up. I, you know, it's the future. You know, so, I'm, well, as my mother used to say, Jesse, it is now tomorrow. Um, look, I, I make these editorials every week and I talk about what's coming. And I've been doing, uh, boy, it could be four, five, six years that I've been doing uh, it was, it was a weekly roll up. First, it was the prelude, the prelude, uh, the prelude to conflict. And that was what I, I was working with the China daily mail on, on a syndication project. And I said, we need to have like links to articles, not just, you know, articles that talk about various events. We need like a, like a, like a roll up. And he said, well, why don't you do it? But he wanted to do articles, so I did a weekly news and analysis. And that was called the prelude to conflict. And I worked out the name with, with uh, Craig Hill over there at China Daily Mail. And we never actually met. Um, but that was original. I mean, the thesis was conflict was coming. And I looked at it. And finally, when the shots in Myanmar were fired, that was when I decided, as far as my chronology that I consider the conflict in Asia, in East Asia, the Pacific, the West Pacific, have actually begun. That's when it began for me, when the shots were fired in, in, in Myan, between Myan, Myanmar and China. It, 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 it's, a, it's stuttering. So I do this, and for, for me, my whole thesis in life, I mean, that's me, today's and yesterday, it's all foreseeable. And I don't predict every little tiny thing. I just state what I think is responsibly foreseeable. I don't try to predict the future all the time. I don't know, it's, it's like I live ahead of the curve. And there are reasons why. I mean, I have been right about politics so many times. And we, I run these people, they have these strong opinions about politics. It's like, all right, you know, I don't really disagree with them. I, I mean, you know, does, uh, does a doctor disagree with a kindergartner about brain surgery? You know, no. News, it's my work. I don't read the paper. I link the paper. I write the stories. Uh, a lot of people do a lot. I'm one of them. And I mean, I, I don't do I don't do reporting work. I'm not a reporter. I'm not what the Chinese call Jiza. That's that's something else. Um, I, I'm 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 Zuoza and Zuoja. It's that that's what I am. If you want to know what the Chinese call me, so go figure it out. So I'm I I do the writing. I'm a writer, and I do opinion. And I see what's coming. I see the stuff that's coming. And I, all these people have these political opinions. Like they're an expert. They run around with these like, ideas like they should be on TV. Like we should all stop and listen to what they say. Because I think, um, I mean, political discussion is great. But there should be some quest for understanding. If, if we're going to have a conversation and be a strong society that has strong political opinions because we converse and discuss with each other, then our political conversations need to include quests for information. And when I talk to people about politics, I'm asking them questions. I want to know what they think. I'm the brain surgeon, and I want to know what the kindergartner thinks. If I don't try to understand as many people as I can, then I don't have an opinion worth listening to. So I have the opinion. I write this stuff. I've said, I'm, I, I, I said Trump was going to get elected in how back in February. And I was mostly right. With and I had a lot of disclaimer against uh, Pennsylvania and Michigan for what I thought was going on there. And so and I did write about them. So, you know, I wasn't on the money, but I was really close. And where I was wrong proved that I knew what I was thinking about. It was an intelligent thing. I wasn't just guessing. and I didn't have some dream telling me what it was going to be. So why, do, why, why is it that I know this stuff that's coming? So many people. It's, it's, it's a funny thing. 
the people who have the strongest opinions are usually the ones that are mostly wrong. And it's funny is it's like some people and you run to this over in Asia and it's very obvious in Asia. They do not quote unquote, it is a fancy term called repent. And that's a change of heart and mind. It's where you say, you know, I should stop doing that and do this instead. And people won't do it. They're wrong again and again and again, and they don't change. It is it's, it's like, uh, like the one, the one couple that uh, wouldn't get fire insurance, true story, wouldn't get fire insurance, house burned down because they thought fire insurance was a scam and house burned down. Did they learn? No. Build another house. Didn't get fire insurance. It's still just a scam. Burned down again. Built a new house. Did they get fire insurance? Of course not. Fire insurance is a scam, don't you know? Their house burned down again. Third time. After that, did they get fire insurance? I don't care. Three times makes a joke. True story. Right right there with you guys in Reed Rapids. Yeah, bet you didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So here we've got all these things happening and people not learning. People not changing. People not, you know... And I've been right about politics because I understand them. I do the, I write every week. You know, I, I see people, they want to be writers. They want to be, I know one guy, you know, studied English in college and he wants to be a writer. So I was like, okay, well, you get to write, not because of your degree, but because you do it regularly. You, you've got to be regular with it. And I knew Trump would get elected. Um, I said again and again, the Russian thing was made up. And, and when I have a conversation about policy with people, guess who the one is talking and guess who the one is listening? The guy with me talking with someone else about politics, it's the guy who is wrong, who does the talking, and I do the listening. And I want to do the listening because I can understand people so I can be more right. So, I, I, mean, I mean, it takes me back to people failing in life. They never reevaluate their thinking. It's like they just keep spinning their wheels. Um, I mean, they think apple farming is about gluing wax apples onto plastic trees. They want results. They don't want what delivers results. And, I mean, people want to act like they're right, but they don't want to do the research and the listening to understand and actually be right. They just want to act like it's a show. <laughs> you, 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 you and your two people, you don't, you know, they'll talk to people that way. But they actually get proven wrong in the end. So I, this is just, this is just an interesting thing that I've been thinking about. You know, why, you know, do, do you, so I'll ask you. Do you take the time in your life? How many things do you think you're right about that you're not? How many things do you have an opinion about that maybe you should back down on? Have you, have you ever, you know, make your life powerful, man. Focus on whatever you're good at. What, whatever. Whatever you're good at. You're worried about some cause. We got to fix this problem. We got to go do that. Okay. All right. You're passionate about it. But have you proven that being the talking expert about it is what your credentials say you should do? It, don't just have an opinion about everything. Only have an opinion about stuff that people would pay you for. If, if someone wouldn't pay me for my opinion about something, then I disregard my own opinion. If, if no one would, would I pay myself for my opinion? Can it deliver results? You know what? I, I, I'll, I, 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 time for the point. Everyone wants an opinion, but not everyone understands. This goes for many topics, politics, not the least. What is the purpose of a political opinion? To be angry at others? To blame others? To think you have all the answers so you can sleep at night? To make the world a better place? How's your goal going? What evidence do you have that if you had to put money on your political opinion being right, you wouldn't lose everything you own. When you are proven wrong, do you reevaluate your opinion making process? Without reevaluating, opinions won't ever prove right. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.